What's up, what's up everybody? It's Track Sounds back again. I got another good tutorial today. I'm talking about more free VSTs, the stuff everybody wants to know apparently, because I got more questions about free VSTs than a lot of other things I've gotten questions about. So I'm gonna keep making different parts to it. Just some advice for my producers out there and the artists too. I dealt with a lot of technical difficulties making this video. I got it going exactly how I wanted, but I wanted to remind you that dealing with this type of profession, you're gonna run into technical difficulties that you just do not understand all the time. And you just gotta keep pushing through it. I guarantee it, it's never gonna stop. Learn, adapt, and keep going. Don't give up, don't let it frustrate you. I just wanted to remind you and remind myself because I had a little bit of a day with this video and a few others. But let me know in the comments below if you've had similar problems with stuff and we can all keep encouraging other because man, technology is a bitch. So we're gonna get into the free VSTs I got. I got five good ones and I got a bonus tip. So listen all the way through to make sure you get this bonus one. My first question of the day though is, what is your favorite VST, either paid or free? I'm curious what everybody's favorite VST is out there. So let me know in the comments and we'll see, you know, who, what's the most popular. I have a feeling Omnisphere probably is gonna win, but let me know if I'm wrong. So we're gonna get into the Ample section first, which is I have Ample Bass Guitar and Ample Guitar Light. These are both their light versions, but uh, if you want the paid version, they're a little more amped up. These are just some basic things I did with them. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Ample Guitar first. Take the effects off. I used all free effects too. This is the Ample Guitar. Got some different presets, strummings, and things like that. So I played a little pattern melody. too crazy I you know I played it added a little you know flicker to it to make it look a little more realistic I don't know if y'all want to see the chords I played right there but cool little trick I learned a while back is you double the guitar so I double the guitar and the melody pan one to the left pan one to the right the left one I slid a little bit back off the grid too so now there's not a phasing issue um, I'm not going to go into stereo stuff, but so this is the first one. I started adding, I, I added a guitar amp from Logic. Here, I was playing at the same time. And I'll take the effects off the other one too. I, I put different effects on each one so they sound different in each ear. Valhalla super massive. I put a little bit on one side. This is a free plugin as well. Put a little EQ on one side. And then the other side, I put an amp, a different EQ, and a different reverb on it. So now they're kind of spaced out and sound a little different. So pretty cool trick, free VST. You know, I, I always like guitar, real guitars, but it's a good way to get some ideas going. I stacked an ample bass on top of it. The bass is cool. I, I played around with it a little different uh, for another pattern I'll show you in a second. So this is the ample bass. This is kind of the, the ample section. This is another bass. So I just want to show you the power of the bass. It's a pretty cool instrument. You can still use the modulation and stuff. We'll go to my next free VST. This is Helm by Chris Tyrell. Dope uh, VST overall. They got a lot of cool sounds in it. 
I'll um, I'll show you the one I end up using, but they got some leads, some pads. Uh, it's a little more like techno kind of sounding for some sense. Let me open up another one, and then I'll. Here's some of them, I'll show it to you real quick. So yeah, just some different sounds. Um, this is what I ended up coming up with, though. A little more trap sounding. And this was in the lead section, alien lead guitar. Put an EQ on it. You can go in. I want to turn off the reverb on some of it. Next free plugin I used was Surge, which is a dope plugin. It's it's considered order open source, which they allow a lot of people, regular people, to submit sounds and and ideas and stuff like that. So they, they want it to be a community kind of project. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of dope sounds. I got some vocoders. Um, I'll, I'll just show one. A lot of dope sounds that I'll show. They got some pads. Cool stuff, but I ended up using a, um, ended up going into keys using this Circus One as a little texture to that other sound. Put an EQ and a reverb on it, all free. So I added just a little hat. Not sure where I'm going with it. Last free VST I used was Subdivine Light. Uh, some pretty cool bass sounds in it. I used it in conjunction with that little idea I was doing above. Um, the light it only has a few sounds, and they're definitely some of them are a little more distorted. So I'll take off what I had. So, um, they got a few of them, I went through them, I took Then I added, took off some high end and added some distortion at around 60 hertz, 68, um, just to give it a little more drive. Distortion always right there, just always knocks.
So yeah, that's kind of where I came up with it. Uh, you know, pretty cool for some free VSTs. Um, the last free one I got is a little bonus. I wasn't even going to include this, but I forgot that it is free. Um, this pancake from Cable Guys. It's a real cool automatic uh, panning plug-in, basically. So if I wanted to put it on my hats to go with this beat, it could automatically pan it. You can adjust it. And if you're listening, headphones are on speakers and you can hear this better. So yeah, just some free VSTs. I wanted to give a little more game. Uh, this is something that everybody really enjoyed the first one I made. So I wanted to keep expanding, make this a weekly series or monthly series when I find new good ones for y'all. So yeah, let me know in the comments if I missed any. I know there's some other good ones out there. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I say every time, check out the rest of the videos. Let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, appreciate you checking out.